Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk a little bit about this. So I'm a little bit of a fan of Japanese art, and one of the things I've been doing is indulging my inter woodworker by binge-watching some of Michael Farrington, I think I got his name right, uh, videos. This guy is just an ultimate artisan when it comes to woodworking. And one of the things that he did was he actually, out of wood, uh, created one of these. Now this is, and I'm sure um, I'm going to get corrected on this because my Japanese is no good at all. However, I believe it's something like Ashinoha. Ashinoha? Uh, it's a, uh, how would I pronounce this? Kumiko design. So this is supposed to be the quote-unquote hemp plant or facsimile of it made of six diamonds. So a lot of times these shapes are used uh, in, in Japanese ornamental lamps and other things. Uh, with this you could do a bunch of different things. So one of the things after watching Mike's video on this where he painstakingly makes all these jigs and then makes one of these that seemingly probably took you know a week or two to do um, reminded me of serving under Mr. Miriaga, you know, wax on, wax off of the detail he put into it. Well, frankly, I don't have that much time nor as much patience as Mike did. And so, but I do own a 3D printer, I do have CNC's, and I do have laser cutters. So, one of the things I did as after watching Mike's video, I went looking for one of these. Now, this is rather hard to find or copyright free of this image. So, I took to Inkscape and I drew one of my own. I'm not perfectly happy with it. I did put it up out on Thingiverse, uh, but uh, yeah, because it's it's probably good enough for uh, general use, and I'll probably refine it a little bit over time. But one of the pieces that I want to be able to do with this is actually um, turn it into other things. So to integrate it into a lamp, do, uh, do it on CNC. But I figured I would start with the old 3D printer. So what I did is I actually printed this out on the Creality. And like I said, I took the Inkscape, I drew one out uh, in SVG, imported it in Tinkercad, and just extruded it. And here we go, and here it is. So one of the things that, uh, you know, at a 0.6 nozzle probably wasn't the best uh, selection for this because these are three millimeter uh, wide. And uh, I could have gone up a little bit more on the retraction. So you notice a little bit of stringing. I cleaned it up a little bit. It needs to be cleaned up more, but I've uh, packed away my heat gun because I am moving shops. More to come on that in a future episode. Uh, but I did want to share this with you guys because it will be out on Thingiverse. So if you want to grab this, you want to try it out, print it on your own, uh, please feel free. I've got the STL out there. I've got the SVGA out there. And I'm probably running in the corner a time lapse of me printing this on the CR10. It took yeah, about an hour and a half with the 0.6 nozzle. You get about 60 millimeters a second. So anyways, uh, I think this is really kind of cool. I, I like this type of, of artwork. And again, you could add a border around this with a hang a picture hanger on it. Uh, you could get some of the stone spray paint uh, from Amazon and spray paint it, have a, st a faux stone finish. So a lot of different things you could do with this. Uh, again, this is sort of my first stab at this with regards to 3D printing, just to see how the shape comes out. And I, am, I must admit, pretty happy with the shape. Uh, so I am going to try it on the laser cutter and also the CNC and see what it comes up with. You know, maybe make some coasters, wall hanging, wall art uh, out of solid wood with this. Um, and it may also, as I mentioned, try painting with some stow foam finish. Stow faux stone finish. I'll get that out. Uh, but it does have some tight corners. So I'm concerned about how well that would get in there because the, the faux stone paint is pretty thick. So... Um, Again, I think this would be better in a solid piece of wood stained or something like that. And maybe put a round motif around it or something like that. Anyways, we'll see in the future about that. So look for more on this. But again, I did want to share this idea, concept. i also link to Mike's video on this down below. Amazing video. The detail he put in making this out of wood. And just the hours upon hours this art form takes in 3D printer or modern CNC technology, you can whip this bad boy off super quick. I don't know what that does for the artisan part of it, but for the uh, timeline, 
a lot quicker. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you think or some of the other designs you'd like to see me come up with. I uh, would be happy to do it. I'd like to maybe get a little bit of a collection of these out there on Thingiverse so you can grab them, bring them into your own modeling tools, and make whatever you want. So, anyways, that's what this community is all about, sharing, right? So, anyways, uh, don't forget, thumbs up again, swag shop up there, and we'll see you guys in the next video where we design or make something. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.